walk you through uh, what I call the blueprint thesis statement. Now, a quick uh, word about blueprint thesis statements, which are directly attached to what is called the five paragraph essay. There are some professors who are absolutely against using the five paragraph essay. In my class, what I suggest is that the five paragraph essay is a great starting off point for someone who is just beginning to work on organization and clarity of argument because the five paragraph essay gives you a foolproof outline for how you can put your paper together, ensuring that each of your body paragraphs is connected not only to each other, but also to the overarching argument that you are trying to make. That said, by the time that you learn how to properly organize a paper, you might not need to lean on this five paragraph essay format in uh, your coming courses. But for now, let's use this structure um, as a primary way by which we can approach uh, the writing task. So the blueprint thesis statement is a two-part thesis statement. It is literally, if you think about blueprint, it is the design for your paper, right? When we create a blueprint, we're creating something, uh, a plan by which to follow, um, to build our house, um, to build a pool, what have you. So the blueprint thesis statement tells you two things. First and foremost, it captures your main argument. And secondly, it provides a list of the way by which you are going to make your arguments. So a list of the main arguments, all right? So the way that you're actually going to prove what you are arguing overall. So for this quick demo, I'm going to make the argument that cats are better than dogs. That's my main argument. I'm arguing that cats are better than dogs because I'm a cat owner and I happen to love cats and I'm not so much a dog person, though my husband is a dog person. I think this is a great way to start off by demonstrating a good arguable thesis because there are some folks who would look at this argument that I have here and say, well, absolutely not. Dogs are way better than cats and here's why you know that you have an arguable thesis if someone is going to disagree with you. You do not have an arguable thesis if it is something that is just absolutely accepted. For instance, if I were to change this thesis to cats are pets, well, yes, of course they're pets, right? I mean, we keep domestic cats as pets. We have, um, you know, since uh, tracing back all the way to the Egyptian period, right? So this is not an argument. Saying that cats are better than dogs, though, now we've got an argument going, okay? The next thing that we need to do, though, is that we need to demonstrate to our reader why we view cats are better than dogs. How are we going to prove to our reader that cats are better than dogs? Well, I've created just a list of a few things. Cats are better than dogs because, well, they can be left alone, right? A dog you have to watch all the time. It has to be let out. It has to be fed at certain times. Uh, it can't be left for more than a few hours. Cats, um, you can leave a bowl of food and some water, and they'll be okay even maybe overnight. They tend to sort of, you know, be solitary and alone and can be left by themselves for a longer period. They're small, right? I mean, there are small dogs for sure, um, but cats in general um, are no more than, you know, maybe 8 to 15 pounds, 15 being, you know, of the Garfield type, um, whereas dogs can be upwards of a couple, you know, 100 or so pounds. They can get to be quite large. Cats also do not pant or drool. Dogs make quite a mess, right? They pant, they drool, they slobber, they snarfle. Cats tend to be a little bit more fastidious. Cats are also not affectionate all the time. So maybe you're someone who prefers to, you know, have a pet that you can pay attention to here and there, um, but doesn't meet you at the door, doesn't necessarily follow you around, sit in between you and your spouse. Are you guys getting that there's a storyline here? Um, so that's my list of stuff. How do I make all of this into what I'm calling a blueprint thesis statement? Well, part one 
is my main argument. So cats are better than dogs, right? I've literally just taken what I want to argue and planted it into the very first part of this statement. The next thing that I need to do is take a few items from this list, plant them into this phrase, and make one long phrase that captures both the main argument and my list. So altogether, cats are better than dogs because they can be left alone, they are small, and they do not pant or drool. All I've done in order to create this thesis statement is taken these two parts and put them together into an arguable phrase. Part one is the argument, part two is the answer. How or why are cats better than dogs? Well, because dot dot dot, and then I get my list of topics. The way that this translates into a five paragraph essay then is that body paragraph number one will demonstrate how cats are better than dogs because they can be left alone. Body paragraph two, cats are better than dogs because they are small. And then obviously body paragraph three is going to be how they do not pant or drool. So notice in the way that I've set up this thesis statement, I have created a blueprint that I will follow in order to make my argument in the five paragraph essay. Note too how I've repeated in each of these body paragraphs my main argument that I'm attempting to make. We'll talk about this in greater detail later in the semester, but one of the mistakes that students sometimes make is that they might talk about how cats can be left alone, right? Which we can talk a lot about in terms of what cats are able to do because they're, or what we're able to do because cats can be left alone. But what you need to make sure that you do is that you connect all that discussion back to the larger argument that you're trying to venture, which is comparing cats to dogs as being the superior pets. So this is part one in my series talking about putting together a strong argument paper. Um, what we're going to talk about next will be how to create an introduction. The blueprint thesis statement is probably the most important part of your paper. If you do not have a strong thesis statement, everything else in your paper will fall apart. So make sure first and foremost that the thesis statement is the strongest statement that you have in your paper and that it is traceable throughout all of your body paragraphs to help the reader understand what you are trying to show and how you are going to prove it.